Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning class uh, So before we start our discussion for today's meeting Let us have the prayer first oh, Yes Okay, so before that Please put the pieces of paper under your table And put down the unnecessary things inside your bag So you do not get distracted Okay uh, so once again, good morning. Uh, how are you doing today? That's great that you are all feeling alright today. Okay, so before we finally start our proper discussion today, can somebody tell me about our last discussion? What was it all about? Okay, John? Yes, very good. Our last discussion was all about verbs or action words. Alright, now let's move on to the new topic. Our topic for today is all about active and passive voice. Okay, so active and passive voice are two special forms of verbs. Okay, before we get into the material, what does voice mean? Anyone knows? Uh, please raise your hand. Yes, Jimmy? Okay, very good. Voice is the quality of verb that shows whether the subject is the doer or the receiver of the action. Right? Now, we're going to talk about two types of voice, active voice and passive voice. First, uh, we're going to talk about active voice. Alright? So, active voice is used to indicate that the subject of the sentence is the doer of the action or the one who is performing the reaction okay now let's read the example dad read the newspaper tom eats an apple okay uh, in these two examples dad and tom are the subject being emphasized as the doer of the action which is read and eat Okay, so the formula of the active voice would be subject and then followed by an action and the last one is the object. Okay, until here, do you understand about active voice? Good job. Now, let's move on to the second type of voice, which is passive voice. Okay, so everyone, passive voice is the opposite of active voice. In passive voice, it is used to indicate that the subject of the sentence is the receiver instead of being to do the action. Alright, uh, for you to further understand, I will also give you the examples here. There are two examples, alright. The newspaper was read by Dad. And the second example, an apple was eaten by Tom. Okay. See, the subject that is the subject, while well, on the newspaper is the one being emphasized instead of the subject. Okay, the same goes with the second example. Tom is the subject and an apple is the one being emphasized. Okay, is it clear about passive voice? Do you understand, my students? Excellent. Okay. Now let's try to change up uh, the active voice into passive voice. How can we do that? Uh, now I have here the examples, the two examples, and we're gonna try to change it. Uh, this is the active voice, and we're gonna try to change it into passive voice. All right. Uh, the first, the first examples. Tony borrowed the book. If we're going to change it into passive voice, the order of the word will be changed. Okay, so it will become the book was borrowed by Tony. Okay, good. So, as you can see, the order of the word is interchanged. Alright, in active voice, the subject is written before the action. Well, in the passive voice, the subject is written after the action. 
and it is followed by the word by so before we write the subject of the sentence in present voice we need to first write the word by by and then the subject okay do you get it okay thank you now let's have another example they are playing football uh, for active voice okay anyone here wanna try to change it into passive voice please okay yes rama go ahead great uh so the passive voice question is football is being played by them all right so is it clear about active and passive voice excellent okay uh, for me to further assist you if we truly understood about our topic today now let's have a talk all right uh, please prepare a one page only of your notebook and uh, let me test your knowledge about active and passive voice so these are the sentence of active voice and all you need to do is change them into passive voice all right I'll give you 10 minutes. Uh, is it enough? Okay, uh, then I'll give you 10 minutes to do this activity. And you may start now. Alright, time's up. Anyone, uh, let's discuss it together. Anyone here wants to be a volunteer to share your answers in front of class? Okay, yes, uh, Billy. Uh, go ahead. Oh, great. Thank you so much, Billy. Your answers are all correct. Okay, good job, Billy. And so the other students. Uh, you really have a great job today. Okay, it seems that you truly understood our topic for today. Now let's continue. Uh, now let's move on to the next activity. But before that, let me ask you one important question. What do you think is important in studying active and passive voice? Yes, Steve? Oh, very good, Steve. You really have a good idea. So, studying active and passive voice is very important, especially in writing. Okay, active voice is being used by the authors in writing a fiction, while passive voice adds more descriptions and helps the writers to have more meaningful writers all right uh, for the last time for me to further access your knowledge about active and passive voice now let's have another activity okay once again prepare a one sheet or two sheet of your notebook um, along with the previous task okay and then, can you copy all the sentence first? Then, try to identify whether it is, it is, it is active voice or it is passive voice. Okay, is that clear, anyone? Alright, good. And once you are done, please pass your paper in front and I will be the one who will check your answer later. And this is for your assignment score, okay? Alright, you may start the activity now. Okay, time's up. Lita, can you help me to collect your friend's work? Okay, thank you. Uh, and in class, for your homework, please make a conclusion about our discussion today, our today's meeting, which is about active and passive voice. And make it precise. You know, precise. Don't be too long or don't be too short. Okay. And also, don't forget to give the examples on each voice for its active voice and passive voice. Give a maximum five. Uh, you may add two examples for each voice. I think. Okay, that's it for your homework. Or uh, is that clear? For now really good okay uh, before we start uh, before we end our meeting for today are there any questions uh, regarding 
this material as divorce and as divorce not all right so that would be all for today's meeting i hope that you are truly understood about what i have explained to you okay thank you so much for your cooperation class in this morning and have a great day okay wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh